All right, so we are set up at a spot we've never fished before, and I was going to get the bank spot kind of laid out here, but we got here late. As you guys can see, it's already dark. So we're getting the last pole set up now, and it's going to be the pole with a little bitty tiny bait on it again. So I'm going to put this on here, show you guys kind of the bait, and then throw it out there. Hopefully we can get some fish start biting pretty quick. We hope to get here earlier than what we did, but sometimes you get a late start, and that's what happened today. So that's a little tiny piece of bait that I'm going to put on. You guys seen in the last fishing video of using a little piece of bait. I got a couple hits on that. I didn't catch anything. Maybe tonight is the night we get something on a little tiny piece of bait. Other than that, we got some whole shad toe out, some whole brim threw out, some live brim, and then a bunch of cut shad. So this is going to be definitely by far the smallest cut shad I got. And I'm just going to try to thread it through there again. Oh, you're getting the just like that. Uh oh. All right, so I missed that fish, but anyway, here we have this little bitty piece of bait on here, and then I just got a sinker ran down to it on a little short pole too. So we're gonna throw this out here and hopefully get something pretty cool on a little piece of bait. These fish are cold. It is definitely cold out here. It's supposed to get down to a little bit below freezing. That wind chill is super cold. Let's get this one back and hopefully we can get a real catfish tonight. I was able to keep my bait too. A lot of people say that you have to have fresh bait. Fresh bait is really, really good. But I've caught three, four, and five fish on the same piece of bait sometimes. So see if I can do it tonight. So I got my bait that time, but definitely caught another fish on the same piece of bait.
I don't know if the camera's picking you up. That came off a little bitty bait, guys. The biggest cat of the night so far. I don't think so. I, I think it is. It's got a big belly. It's too close to the first cat, anyway. Man, this sucker is spicy. This thing ran me all the way around this little point. Little bait. It's big fish. Little bitty bait. Caught that fat fish. He's not very big, but he's fat. Put a. I don't think. No, I don't. I'll have to put another piece of bait on there. I'm gonna put another small piece on there. This is the little piece that I'm gonna use again. I think you guys can pick up on this, but a little bitty piece. Throw it out there. It kind of shows, if we, especially if we can catch a couple more, that you don't have to have big baits to catch fish. I missed the jerk, but... Maybe one pound. <laughs> Tiniest one of the night. Still got my same piece of bait too, though. Throw it back out and see if I can uh, do it twice tonight. Catch a, another fish on the same piece of bait. Got him? Is that my other pole? That's mine. My other pole? Oh, it's yours? Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the board. It's Goku Freezer. Big head, big head, big head, big head. Got it. Good fish. Really? Yeah. Heck yeah. He ain't a decent fish. He fought back for a while. He, he might be a flatty. All oh, right, I knew that was come come in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He might not be a real cat. That's definitely a nice one. It's 15 pounds. It might be. Yeah. For sure. Freaking A. You want picture? Hopefully they continue to get bigger, but that one came on the only crappie we had. So, heck yeah. Oh, I, I caught it too. This is a good fish. It, it looks oh, he spit it. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. He's pulling me towards the water. It looked like a pretty daggum good fish.
Uh, it's already put up in the bottom of the boat. See what? It's already put up in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> huh? Is it bigger that you can't flop it in? Yeah. Alright, see if I set the light down. Can you see anything? Uh, reel down on that thing. Got him. I'm not getting the net either. <laughs> Flip it up here. Yeah. Alright guys, I got this fish, Cole's got one hooked up too, we're going to be doubled up here, get you guys, see what Cole's got going on over here, that. huh? Mine might be the biggest fish of the night. See if Cole can get his up here. I can't flip it. You just gotta grab the line and pull it up real fast. What I done? Cut my hand open. Or just grab it by the mouth. We can hold these up together, doubled up. Crazy thing is, is we were thinking, well, let's move spots because it's died here. That hook is in the worst spot for this. There we go. Yeah, I'll take your huh? line off of it. Cole's is definitely bigger. It's hard to tell on the camera, but his is definitely a lot fatter, that's for sure. There we go. You can see the belly on it now. So, doubled up. Doubled up, baby. Heck yeah. Now, so we doubled up there, and what we was doing was we was reeling our poles in because it died. We got here super windy, and then the wind kind of died off. The current picked up like crazy, and now the water's super calm. We went like almost two hours without a fish. And we decided, well, let's pack up and move somewhere else. So that's what we was doing. We was reeling everything in, doubled up, but we're still going to move. So that video of us moving and going to the next spot uh, will be pretty soon. I don't know if it'll be next, next, like right after this video, but it will be pretty soon. So look forward to that. And guys, thanks for coming out here with us. I hope you enjoyed this spot because this is the first time we've ever fished this spot. And it was, it was a lot of fun. It was pretty neat, something different, something different than what we usually fish for sure. So... Um, We'll see you guys at the next spot.